And the next layer on top of the foundation is the tempo days, which will last for two to three weeks, starting now. You can come eat a banana if you get hungry. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, we're off. We're off. Okay. Okay, Seth, you get, you get buckled. Okay. Papa's in charge, taking, taking Seth to school. Joseph's a little under the weather, so he's gonna stay home. Oh my goodness, Whew. what a day, what a day, right Seth? Okay, made it to the gym, dropped Seth off at school. If I look a little tired, you know exactly why, everyone. All right, here's the deal. Before I go run, we gotta have a discussion about the second video that published yesterday on the channel. Why? Because I'm listening to your comments. I, I want to make sure I'm providing as much value to you as possible and serving you as best as I can through these daily videos. Okay, so every morning, 5 a.m., the vlog publishes on this channel. In addition, some days I publish two videos in one day, which publishes at 5 p.m., so 12 hours later. That's the weekly Q&A on Saturdays, which I missed this past Saturday because we were in the hospital, and then um, uh, the running shoe full reviews. So yesterday, the ASICS Glide Ride full review finally published, and I tried to publish in a new, I, I did a new style of filming and editing. Uh, why? Because I'm always trying to innovate, always trying to provide as much quality on YouTube for all of you as possible. But at the same time, I'm reading your comments, and I want to make sure that well, I want to listen to your thoughts as to the path that we go down together for running shoe full review. So some people were saying they love the new style, and some people were saying, you know, it's almost too professional, almost too polished. It, it looks too good. Or And so what happened in that video is that um, I actually scripted what I said in the studio. Um, and the reason I did that was to condense my talking, because you know how I can talk, from that 10 to 13 minute window down to six minutes. And actually my goal was to get it down to five minutes. Why? Because your time is precious. And I wanna make sure I respect your time and bring as much, again, as much value to you as I can in the, the, the moments that you give me here on YouTube. Cause you, I know you're busy and I know you gotta go run and go to work and take care of your family. So that is why I scripted yesterday's, uh, yesterday's ASICS Glide Ride full review and sure enough, the video ended up being right at six minutes. But I, I was, again, some people just didn't like it. So here we go. Question of the day, if you have time or if you've already watched it, go check it out, upper right hand corner, and then come back to this video. And down in the comments, if you could let me know what you liked about the new style and what maybe you did not like about the new style. And maybe what I will do moving forward is I won't script the running shoe full reviews. It'll be me talking in the studio but I will do my best to keep my talking as concise as possible. All right, thank you so much for sharing your opinions. I'm here to serve you. And again, I'm not trying to, I don't want to innovate in a way that maybe most people don't like. Like maybe most people really truly do like me riffing in the studio, kind of like we're doing here in the car right now. There you go. All right, before I go run, yes, a box arrived when we were at the hospital. These are shoes that I bought, all right? And yes, I anteed up again. Oh, I'm so excited. So with, oh, did I already mention this? I'm a little tired. I don't think I mentioned this. Marathon week seven training starts today. And so on Sunday of this week, we're halfway through the marathon training block. That is incredible. That is amazing. So 
Volume is high, volume is high this week, and it means I need to take care of my legs as much as possible on these long runs. So here we go, in the car, opening it up. Oh, let's see, do I wanna show you both boxes? I think I will, I think I will. All right, here we go, box number one. Oh, <coughs> yes, I'm a little sick as well. You know what's in here. Oh, butter my bread. Oh, I it. When I get a second pair of running shoes, you know I loved. So I went with black for another pair of Asics Glide Rides as I train for the Hamburg Marathon and the Irving, Texas Half Marathon. There is that. And then boom, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Another Nike shoe. Oh yeah, the Vomero 14 with the new tongue. The new tongue on the Vomero 14. Can't wait to try it out for all of you. Um, so there you go, these are gonna be my long run shoes moving forward through this high volume i just want to protect my legs as much as possible because my other pair of glide rides are definitely dead and the vomero 14 tongue from 2019 just didn't work for me it was cutting into the top of my foot all right let's lace up and then i'll go run oh i don't think i'm gonna film today on the run um i just need to get it get it done get it done and it's kind of it's actually kind of getting cold out so all right oh i love you i love you Man, oh, we're tired, we are tired. Whew. Home again, home again, jig a jig. Just like that, we are back in the studio. Oh, it is so windy outside. I'm really glad I did not film the run. It just would have been, the camera would have been all over the place. I'll come back to the glide ride here in a minute after we talk about, yes, week seven marathon training. First of all, oh yeah. Did you enjoy the new intro? Hope you enjoyed that. A little freshening up for the channel. Also, I will have a new outro at the end of the vlog. So stick around for that and the glide ride. And oh yeah, I'm also gonna break down the run for you uh, on this, using the stats on Strava, which I usually don't do. And I'll tell you why here in a little bit. Okay, first of all, week seven marathon training is in full swing. It definitely is in full swing after today's run. And let's uh, look back at the pyramid. And if I have time, I will draw this out on a piece of poster board inside for all of you. So here's the pyramid, all right? The goal for me, and some people do sideway, sideways pyramids for their training. I prefer the, uh, the normal uh, orientation. So there it is. And the goal is to arrive at the top as fit as possible, as fresh as possible, and as healthy as possible. So it took six weeks, six weeks to build the foundation, the aerobic base, the stamina, the endurance that I need to get ready for the tempo days, the threshold days, the interval days, and race day. All right, so there we go. So here's the bottom of the pyramid, six weeks. It's the biggest chunk, all right, of the pyramid. And why? Because in my, for me, how I train, how I was trained in college, it's the most critical part. If you don't build the base well, or correctly, or you overtrain, or in my opinion, if you add speed work too early, I think you could actually arrive at the top of the pyramid too early, so not peaking at the right time, uh, or your, your legs are just gonna be so tired by race day that they're not gonna be uh, freshened up. So, and the next layer on top of the foundation is the tempo days, which will last for two to three weeks, starting now, uh, that 5.45 to 6.15 window for me, uh, as far as pacing in miles, uh, and then on top of that, threshold and intervals, okay? And then on top of that, the taper, so that make sure I arrive at the starting line fresh as possible, and, my long runs are gonna start to get a little faster, like today. So instead of Steezy, which was the first six weeks, all right, I think I did pretty good. Maybe not perfect, but pretty good keeping the first six weeks. If you follow on Strava, you know, like I was running pretty basic, uh, pretty simple for at least five weeks. And then I think last week I did, I got a little faster. One of the reasons was because I was racing home in order to get ready for Henry's arrival. So, all right, here we go. Let's uh, analyze today's run real quick. So 22 and a half miles, not too shabby. 6.45 a mile, okay. So instead of that, let's say 7.15 or 7.30 pace, uh, 7.45 pace, I dropped it down. I think part of the part of the helping what today was from the glide ride, absolutely. And let's view analysis here, which I usually don't do. And again, I'll tell you why in a second. 500 feet of vertical gain, that's actually pretty solid. I picked a new, uh, I had a new section of road that I went up and down on, so that is why it's a little higher there. And uh, two, two hours, 32 minutes of moving time. So you know how I like to run 
over two hours as much as possible in a marathon training block. And the reason is I was sitting in on my bed um, a minute ago and an hour after the run was done, I could still feel like getting a pulmonary, uh, I was still getting a heart rate that was a little higher than usual because of that two hour window, going over that two hour window. So, oh, I feel really good about that two hours and 32 minutes. And fastest split, 630. Let's see what else, cadence right around 180. One uh, steps per minute, 181 steps per minute, which is right on right where, I, where I'm usually at for long runs. And uh, I was wearing the Sun 25, and it does not track my heart rate. I ch I choose that on purpose, uh, but it does say according to Strava that my pace zone was in zone two. Not sure if that's exactly accurate. Anyway, zone two is what it's saying there. So. Um, okay, why do I not look at view analysis as much? One thing, I don't love a ton of numbers, I don't love a ton of data. Instead, what I do is that I reflect mentally back listening to the sensory data in my body, in my legs, especially my legs, um, also my breathing, uh, and look back just three days ago, almost on the exact same route, today's run was so much easier compared to three days ago and way easier. And this is the tip of the day. If you can take mental notes along your training block journey, if you need to write them down, that's good too. But, and I remember I did a 15 mile run north instead of, I went south today, but north, or sorry, south instead of north. And it was hard, a 15 mile run. I think I was going seven minute pace. And this was maybe 10 days ago, maybe two weeks ago. And it was so much harder. So now, 22 miles at 640 a mile, I know that my fitness is starting to come around. And it's just those mental notes that I take. So anyway, that's my little tip. Um, listening to the body, listening to the sensory data, uh, because I think the numbers are fine, um, but the more keyed in, the more tuned in you are, I believe, to your body, the more you can listen to the pain. Listen to the easy, like, okay, this is too easy. Oh, oh, this is too hard. And it takes practice. It takes patience. It's, it's you know, I've been running a long time. Um, if you're a new runner, great. Uh, it might take five years. It honestly might take five years to build up that um, muscle memory and listening to the breathing. You know, you got to take your earbuds out every now and then and just listen to that breathing. And over time, you'll be able to discern, okay, this is too fast or too slow for me. All right, I'll leave it there. That is today's run, Glide Rides. Oh, Asics, Asics, thank you, thank you. I love this shoe, I love this shoe. On the run today, I was like, wow, is this gonna be my marathon racing shoe? And I was like, no, 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 way too heavy, but it feels so amazing. No carbon fiber plate in there, all right? It's just straight up geometric midsole goodness. They just rocked it. Asics rocked it with this shoe. It's why I bought a second pair. Um, and I'm really excited to take out the Evo rides really soon for a tempo run. So I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you for answering the question of the day. It really is going to help. And I'm going to roll the new outro here in a second. It's nothing too crazy, but uh, just a little new format. Um, and it's a big week. Atlanta Olympic trials. Amazing. And then also, yes, some carbon fiber plates. Uh, new shoes are arriving on the marketplace. You know the drill. So it's going to be an exciting week here on YouTube. All right, everyone, we're going to toss it back on the top right here to the Asus Glide Ride full review from yesterday. Check it out right there in that box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on my face right there. All right, everyone, I love you all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.